All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over eight advanced methods to improve your click-through rate. So we've created a few click-through rate videos in the past week or so. Um, so we're gonna kind of give you some more advanced strategies and tips for you to improve your click-through rate, specifically for Google Ads. Um, you could apply a lot of these to Bing Ads as well, so just keep that in mind. Uh, it's not gonna really apply to Facebook, it's just gonna be really more eight advanced ways to improve your click-through rate on Google Ads. So before you get started, I'd highly recommend checking out a couple of the videos on our channel that we've already created. So one is five simple ways to improve your AdWords click-through rate. So these are some more beginner methods when you're starting your campaign. You can pretty much complete all of these in a day. Um, so you could just come in here, do all five ways, and they should all help improve your click-through rate. These next ones are really going to expand on that. Um, the other video is 10 ways to create great Google AdWords text ads. So when it comes to click-through rate, one of the most important things is your quality score. And with quality score, one of the most important things is your ads. So you need to have a good ad relevance. So we have 10 strategies to create really good ads so that you can appear at the top of search results when you're when you're advertising um, because it's, it's so important to get those top spots now because it's really going to help your click-through rate. So we're going to get into our steps now. So number one is going to be to organize your campaign into ad groups. So you want to put relevant keywords into ad groups so that you can serve ads that are relevant to those keywords. So if I took all of the keywords that were in these different ad groups, so for example, how to grow your business, how to market your business, small business marketing strategies, if I put them all into one ad group and just created a couple of ads for that ad group, my campaign is going to suffer because I don't have things grouped and relevant. I don't have ads that are matching the actual keywords that people are typing in. So organizing your campaigns and separating out keywords into relevant ad groups is really important. And I'm going to open this small business marketing strategies ad group. One of the things you can do, um, it's going to take a while, it's going to be time consuming, but it's worth it when you're spending your budget on marketing, is single keyword ad groups. So you just take one keyword, you can target the exact match version of it, you could target the modified broad match version of it, bid slightly lower on the modified broad match version, and then you can create ads that match small business marketing strategies. You can create three ads in your ad group that really match those keywords so you can give people the most relevant user experience possible because your whole goal is to take people from their search term to a conversion with the best possible user experience. So organizing your campaigns using single keyword ad groups, um, really where you have the same keyword with a couple different match types, is one of the best things you can do to really improve your overall results. So number two is going to expand on that, and it's to never use broad keywords in your campaign. So if you have a keyword like this exact match one, we're going to click edit re real quick and just put broad match. If you have no modifiers here, so no you know, this is modified broad match. So highly recommend using modified broad match because that says that these words have to be in the search query for it to match this keyword. But with broad match, it's going to keep things very broad and you tend to lose control with your campaign a little bit because Google is going to match search queries with your keywords that aren't always exactly relevant. Um, you're definitely going to get a lot of unrelated searches in there. So just avoid broad match keywords altogether. They're really just going to drag down your click through rate because you're going to get a lot of ad impressions for unrelated searches. So avoid broad match keywords is number two. Number three, so we've opened up some ads in one of our ad groups here, is to use dynamic keyword insertion. So it's really simple to set up. You can take one of your existing ads, click on edit here, and just come into a headline. You can use it in the headline, you could use it in the description, and all you do is just use the dynamic keyword insertion syntax. So where it's opening bracket, so capitalized key, capitalized word, and then close it. We have a whole tutorial on our channel with dynamic keyword insertion if you have any questions about it. But what it's gonna do is it's gonna take the actual keyword that the search query matched and it's gonna put it in this headline. So if we have ways to promote your business here and someone types in how to promote your business, it's gonna take how to promote your business and dynamically change our headline one here to how to promote your business. So it's going to be able to really match ads with the keywords that people are typing in. So dynamic keyword insertion is one of the best ways to improve your click-through rate. Definitely check out our tutorial if you've never used dynamic keyword insertion. Uh, we go over a bunch of different ways to use it in the headlines and the descriptions. Really important and a really great way to just overall improve your campaigns. And it's really simple to set up. You just kind of have to understand the syntax of it. And you have to make sure that the keywords in your ad group will look good in a headline. So check out our tutorial on that. Dynamic keyword insertion number three. One of the best ways to improve your click-through rate. Number four is going to be countdown timer. So we have another, another advertisement here. We're going to click on edit. And we've already added our countdown. It's very similar to the way you set up uh, keyword insertion. All you can have to do is open up an opening bracket, and it's going to give you an option to do countdown. You do the countdown ends in what time, how early, you know, when you want to start the countdown, 
what time zone to use and what language to use. Just click apply and it's going to add a countdown. Uh, so we again, we have another tutorial on our channel with more details here, but using countdowns can really create urgency. So you can see here we have a free online marketing ebook, free download ends in three days. So that's creating urgency and it's going to keep counting down automatically. So when it's two days, it'll be two days. When it's 12 hours, it'll be 12 hours. When it's six hours, it'll be six hours. So once your countdown is ending, uh, it won't start showing like that anymore, but you can really count down to a sale. You can count down to a limited time offer. So you can see down here in our description line one, you have you can download our ebook for free, only three days left. So that type of urgency gets people to click on your ad, go in and take action with whatever the conversion is for you. So number five, I'm gonna look at some example ads. So I've typed in social media management software. It's brought up a ton of different advertisements. Uh, there's four at the top here and three at the bottom. So what I like to do is use call to actions in my advertisements. So if you see here, social media management software. So this is Zoho.com it says manage social media easily, one tool for multiple networks. So it's not a call to action, but it's just saying this is a social media tool that's going to make your life easier. Pretty good ad, not exactly what I'm looking for. So Hootsuite, manage all of your social media. So not too bad. Again, it's not really a call to action. It's more of just Hootsuite will make your life easier. Loomly, number one social media scheduler. So very similar to the other two. Now what I like is I typed in social media management software. Sprout Social has given me social media management tools. So a really good first headline to match my keyword and try free for 30 days. So this is a call to action here. So Sprout Social is saying, not only do we have great social media management tools, we're gonna give you an offer. You can try it free for 30 days. Obviously, if you don't like it, you get your money back or you obviously don't spend anything at all, um, but you cancel your subscription before you're able to, you spend any money with Sprout Social. So it's a great advertisement because of a call to action. So try free for 30 days gets me to click on it, gets me to try Sprout Social to see if it's worth you know, my time and if it's a tool that I wanna continue using for my business. So using call to actions is really important. So just in the other advertisement here, you know, ways to promote your business, free online marketing ebook. So not the greatest, decent call to actions, but this free download ends in three days. That's a really good call to action because you're getting people to say, okay, you have only a little bit amount of time to take advantage of this offer. So call to action is one of the best ways to really improve your ads. So number six is gonna be kind of a continuation of this video. So this is this 10 ways to create great Google AdWords text ads is really a great way to improve your click-through rate compared to all these other methods I'm gonna show you. Uh, so number six is gonna be create great ads. Obviously watch this video, but just to take you back to the Sprout Social advertisement here. So one of the things I like to do is capitalize the first letter of each word and they do that here you can see they all pretty much do it here so this one tool for multiple networks I would capitalize for multiple networks there's so much data and so much research that shows that just capitalizing like that improves your click-through rate gets more people to click on your ads whereas ads that aren't capitalized all the way top to bottom uh, end up not getting as many clicks so definitely capitalize each word Use keywords, so social media management software, social media management tools. So use those keywords to really match your ads up. So Loomly down here, number one social media scheduler. It'd be better off doing number one social media software, number one social media management tool if that fits. Um, so you really want to match those keywords and keep them in your ad copy. So only here is manage used once. So at least with Hootsuite, you have manage your Facebook manage social, multiple social networks, manage multiple networks. So highly recommend, you know, this right here, Sprout Social, manage your social media accounts with a powerful social media management tool. So this is a really great ad with Sprout Social. If it's a quality score, it's probably getting a 10 out of 10 for ad relevance, whereas some of these other ones are probably more eight and nine. So coming back over here, so we're still talking about creating great advertisements. Making sure you have three ads in every ad group allows Google to test your ads against each other and serve the top performing ad. Um, so three ads per ad group, very important. And last but not least, use a display URL. Um, so I don't have them for everyone down here, but um, I would definitely add them. So what you wanna do is click on edit. So look at your keywords. So how to promote your business, how to promote your business, promote your business online. So just very simple, you can make your display path anything. So surfsideppc.com slash promote slash business. So down here, it looks like none of them really use it. But what they could do is do sproutsocial.com slash social media slash management. Just a very simple way to get, you know, my keywords to match their ads even better and just improve your ad relevance. So creating great ads is one of the best ways to really improve your click through rate, making sure you have multiple ads in every ad group, making sure they match the keywords. It's really important for your overall you know, health of your campaign. It's one of those things where 
I see so many uh, ad accounts that I take over where there's one ad group with like one or two ads, or even if the uh, the campaign is organized, I get just one ad per ad group and they're not always relevant to the keywords. It's just, you need to make sure that you're matching things as best as possible because that's the ultimate goal of Google AdWords and really any type of advertising you're doing. So number seven here is going to be use audiences. So you can see I came down to the audiences tab of my search campaign. And right now I've added an in-market audience for people who are looking for search engine optimization and search engine marketing services. And I'm just observing this audience. So what I'm gonna be able to see is if this audience gives me any lift in click-through rate. And if I'm able to see that, then I can actually bid higher on this audience. Same thing if you're running a campaign, let's say you have a big remarketing audience, you can come in to your remarketing and similar audiences, try to find you know your combined list, your website visitors, your YouTube users, You know, take those, add it to your campaign, click save, and you're able to observe these different audiences and you can actually bid higher on them. So in my experience, you know, any of the remarketing audiences I have, so let's say someone views videos from my YouTube channel and then they're actually typing in keywords that I'm targeting on the search network, I generally see higher click-through rates because those people are familiar with Surfside PPC already. So it's really important to use these audiences and observe how they're performing and increase or decrease bids. Generally, if you're using a really targeted audience, you'll actually see a lift here uh, with your click-through rate when you're targeting these different audiences because Google has already identified these people as being interested in your products and services. So adding them here, whether it's in-market audiences, whether it's your remarketing list, whether it's similar audiences, I've seen them all help with click-through rate and you can increase bids to make sure that those audiences are seeing your ads more often and clicking on them more often. So last but not least, so I'm gonna go over landing pages. So when it comes to quality score, one of the most important things is your landing page matching the actual keyword. Uh, so I only have one landing page here for this entire campaign, which is really not a best practice. So what I'd want to do is right here, how to promote your business. This landing page matches that very well. How to promote your business online in 2018. When people come to my landing page, you know, they're able to see really quickly that the keyword matches exactly what they're looking for. So what I would want to do is coming back over to something like small business marketing strategies is creating another landing page. It could look very similar to this and just doing you know, the best small business marketing strategies uh, for your online business in 2018. Whatever it is, I can create different headlines that really match up what people are typing in. So A-B testing your landing pages is really important. So if you're creating ads here, what you can do is in your ad group, so we already have these three advertisements here. So what you could do is take these ads, edit, copy and paste them so we have a complete duplicate so we have six total ads they're the exact three are the exact same three are the exact same so um, what we can do is with our new ads go in and just change the landing page for those new ones only so let's just say we did newsletter two so let's just say it's a completely separate landing page so now we're able to test each landing page against each other and to make sure you're getting enough data for both of them you can come back to your settings over here Come to your ad rotation which is going to say use campaign setting but what you can do is do do not optimize so just rotate ads indefinitely so you're running these different advertisements within your ad group with two different landing pages and the way you're going to be able to test it is to see which landing page actually provides you the best conversions the best click-through rate the best quality scores and over time what you want to do after you start getting some data is coming to optimize prefer the best performing ads click save so now Google is going to automatically say, okay, you've been rotating these six ads for a while. These two or three are really performing the best, and they're the ones we're going to continue to use. And you can tell from that, you know, which landing pages are performing best. You can tell from your Google Analytics data which landing pages are performing best. So A-B testing landing pages is vital with your Google Ads campaigns because quality score is so dependent on landing page is so dependent on your ad relevance, is so dependent on your click-through rate. So focusing on all these things is so important for your campaign and click-through rate can really tell you kind of how healthy a campaign is uh, based on how organized it is how well the ads match the keywords you know how competitive maybe bids are because if you're not bidding high enough then you're not going to get very many clicks because you're going to find yourself basically at the bottom of these pages all the time so optimizing for that quality score will keep you at the top here and making sure that when people are typing in your keywords they're clicking on your ads instead of a competitor so if you have any questions leave them in the comments uh, these are eight more advanced ways to improve your click-through rate some might take a little more time especially a b testing landing pages maybe figure out which audiences perform the best um, so it's going to take a little bit more time um, but you know, it's really worth it for the overall health of your campaign and getting the most out of your budget. So again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching our video today and make sure you subscribe to our channel.